Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. This is Joe and today we're going to do four five pound chickens on the Smoky Cajun Banded Meat Hanger Mod. It's basically a Weber Smoky Mountain converted into a barrel cooker. All right, well there's a couple of different rubs I'm gonna use. And this one here is Root Boy Rub Number One. It's a beef and bison rub. It's very, very good. And we are going to be doing a giveaway on this. Not only on this number one, but we're also going to do the Root Boy Rub Number Two Chicken and Pork Rub giveaway. Details on how to win these fantastic rubs will be at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start by cutting out the backbone of these birds. All you got to do is grab your kitchen shears and start cutting out the backbone as you see here. Now what you want to do is grab you a sharp knife. I'm using a bone-in knife and just start cutting through that bone there. It's really easy to do and there you go. You'll have half chickens. Now I want you guys to know that this is my first time using this modification on this WSM and also my first time hanging meat. So we'll see how I did it towards the end of this video. So how many of you guys own a pit barrel cooker or a device that you can hang meat in where the drippings fall onto the fire and come back up to the meat? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, let's go ahead and get these things rubbed down with this Root Boy Rub number two. And I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried it, you're missing out. That's why I'm giving you guys a chance to win two of these bottles is Root Boy Rub number one and number two. If you're interested in purchasing any of these rubs, you can find them over at the Root Boy Cooks Facebook page. This man has 34,000 followers. That is awesome. So what you want to do here is grab you some paper towels and go ahead and dry off any of the excess moisture. I haven't mentioned it, but I did do this to the other side before I seasoned them. So here, because I ran out of my rub, I'm going to use this Sweet Heat Southern Barbecue Blend. This is another fantastic rub that you guys should try. Here you'll see that I'm going to top everything off with some coarse black ground pepper. I'll tell you what, if there's one thing I like to add with my rubs is pepper. So here you'll see that I purchased some meat hooks for hanging the meat. The bottom two rows that you see there, those are five inch hooks. And there on the top row, you see those big meat hooks there. Those are nine inches long and really heavy duty I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for but I got a bunch of smaller ones because I know I'll use them now I hope I'm doing this right just going to take these hooks and try to find a bone and get up under that wing there and see and pray to God that I don't lose any in the fire I was almost tempted on taking a cooking grate and putting it in the bottom of the WSM just in case one was to fall into the fire but I have confidence that this should work. And if you notice there, I have some chicken quarters I had to cut up because for some reason when I halved them up, the thigh and the leg kind of separated. So it was just hanging on by skin and I didn't want to hang it like that. That's why I just went ahead and cut it. Comment below if you ever had this problem cutting up your chicken halves or maybe it was something I did wrong that you guys could help me out on. Like I said, I've never cut chickens in half either. All right, so I went ahead and put the chicken in the refrigerator so all them seasonings can absorb into the meat. And here I have a half a bag of Kingsford charcoal. It's the blue bag. I have three chunks of apple wood and two lighter cubes. Let's go ahead and get this thing lit up. I also like to mention that the winds are approximately 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. It is super windy out here. I'm surprised it didn't blow my pit over. The current outdoor temperatures is approximately 34 degrees. Well, here it is, guys. The Smoky Cajun Bandit Meat Hanger Mod. Using the Cajun Bandit Rotisserie Ring, which is compatible for the Weber Kettle and the Weber Smoky Mountain 22s. Here you'll see that the Cajun Bandit Rotisserie Ring is flipped to use for the Weber Smoky Mountain. And all I did was drilled two extra holes on each side and added some half inch steel rod and half inch collars on the end the half inch collars makes it easier for me to push through on each side to keep the outsides of the steel rod seasoned i'll show a short video clip on how i do that so there as you've seen our temperatures are at 300 degrees at the top 
And we are 10 degrees cooler at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get these hung and hopefully I don't drop any. And I did reposition some of the hooks. My target temperatures for this cook will be anywhere from 275 to 300 degrees. We'll just have to find out later and see how it builds temps. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever hung meat in any kind of a cooker. And the first time using this mod. I'm going to start out with all the bottom vents wide open. And as you can see, I used aluminum foil to plug up the two biggest holes. Where as if it was flipped for the kettle, I blocked them holes there. Just in case. I don't want this thing getting out of control. And my top vent will be shut throughout the entire process to mimic any type of barrel cooker that's out there. I would also like to mention that I had washed those half inch rods there with soapy water dried them off real good and lathered them with some Crisco to help you know season the rods because it was raw metal so doing this chicken cook for the first time I don't think we're going to have a problem all right well you can actually see how windy it is with those chickens moving around like that but I have them all placed in there and ready to go well so far we're 10 minutes into this cook and on the bottom section, we're reading at 250 degrees. And here at the top section, we are just a hair over 300 degrees. So when I noticed after 10 minutes, the temperatures weren't budging, I went ahead and removed the aluminum foil there, the plugs that I put on each side of that rotisserie ring. And as you can see, we are standing at a perfect 275 at the bottom. And we're sitting at 325 at the top, which is exactly what I want. And the temperature stayed the same throughout the entire cook. So awesome. All right. Well, we are an hour and 10 minutes into this cook. And let me tell you, it smells like heaven out here. It's just something about the juices from the chicken. Or I'm sure of any kind of meat dripping down into the hot coals and coming back up to create that wonderful smell. But here we're going to go ahead and get an internal temp on these chickens. And right here we're averaging anywhere between 165 to 175 degrees. All I got to say about this mod is that it works perfect. Just keep the vents wide open, the top lid shut, and let it do its magic. I am 100% satisfied on this first cook, and definitely will be many more to come. All right, let's go ahead and get these babies pulled and get in an aluminum foil pan. And get them rested for about five minutes, and let's see what they look like. But first, I'd like to say... I don't expect anybody to sit here and do the mods that I do. They work great, but I don't want you to sit there and hack up your grill if you're not going to be happy with it. That's pretty much why I'm doing this video is to show you guys that it works. But then again, you know, you're dealing with stainless steel. I had to take it to a machine shop to have them drill it because my drill bits at home wouldn't do it. For those of you that want to upgrade their WSM to a barrel cooker or this meat hanging mod, then leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions you need. Now here's something I'd like you to see. It almost looks like I injected it with water. Look at that. Oh my God, I just wasted all them juices. But you know what? I didn't know it was going to do that. Do you guys have this same problem? Leave it down, <laughs> leave it down in the comment section because I am pretty impressed. These things are probably the juiciest birds I have ever done. I mean, just um, look at them. Just look at that all right enough showing off i'm gonna go ahead and get these things in the foil pan and we will see you inside well here's what they look like after sitting for five minutes and i'm going to tell you one thing i think they have beautiful color some people may think they're a little dark but i think they look gorgeous and i like the crispy skin not that rubbery stuff you get from low and slow so keep in mind for all you beginners out there if you want to smoke chicken you're going to have to do it at higher temps if you want that crispy skin. The minimum is 275 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's go ahead and tear into one of these bad boys and let's see what we got. Keep in mind, they are very, very hot. It's very hard to handle. I probably should let them cool off a little more. But the trick to chicken is to serve it immediately. Because once those steam starts rising up into the skin, it's going to start softening it up. That's why it's best to rest these uncovered and try to serve as fast as you can 
Well, I'm here to tell you that everything turned out fantastic. And again, this has to be some of the juiciest, crispiest skin chicken I have ever made in my life. And I would have to say that mod had a lot to do with it. If I would have known food would have come out this good, I would have bought me a pit barrel cooker a long time ago. I would also like to mention that my mother-in-law, Mary Fedler, doesn't like chicken. But I had my wife go and take her some, and she absolutely loved it. She couldn't believe how good it was. So that actually made my day. All right, it is now giveaway time. All you got to do to enter is comment in this video, hashtag the root boy cooks. The winner will receive one bottle of the rub number one and one bottle of the rub number two. I'll draw the winner in a couple of weeks. This giveaway is only good for the United States and it will ship free. So if you would, after the hashtag, please put where you're from. Just the state you live in will be fine. Thank you. So if anybody's wondering how I'm seasoning the rods here that were raw metal, about every 10 minutes, I'm pushing these in on the opposite sides. Okay, so if I come over here, I'll wipe what's dripping down there. I'll just go ahead and push these in every 10 minutes. And as you can see, I added wood chunks in there. So we got a nice smoke going, some hot heat. <clears throat> and that'll get these babies seasoned so they don't rust because it is raw metal. So as you can see, they're doing just fine. That was only about 20, yeah, 20 minutes of seasoning so far. And of course on the inside, uh, they're very well seasoned. You know, like where the chicken was cooking. Nah, you guys can't see that, but you get my drift. All right. Well, the chicken turned out fantastic. I was really excited about how everything turned out. Everybody have a good night. And let me know your thoughts. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe, hit that like button, share this video to your friends. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will get to them. Thank you and have a great day.